Okay guys, so I got all the material cut to down the size. So I have my four tubes that are cut to length. I've got two blanks that are going to become four slugs, which I'll explain. It'll probably be easier to explain once I actually make them. And then the actual four leveling feet. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and turn down these um, slugs into something that we can thread, that the, the feet will thread into, and then I can weld into the tube. So I'll go over to the lathe and show you guys how I'm going to do it. First thing I'm going to do is just face off the end of each piece, or both ends of each piece. They should be fairly square to start with. I've got my bandsaw turned too pretty well, but it's not taking any chances here, so. Finishes. It's okay. I mean, this isn't. This is 86:20, so it's not not something that's going to necessarily be a great finish. That's more than good enough for something that's just going to be welded and painted. And then always be a couple, no more than a couple inches from the floor. Step is to actually. I don't even need to take that out and get this. Well, that's not going to come off. Let me do something about that, just because that'll annoy me. Then I'll come back. Okay, guys. So I got my stop set up here, my dial indicator as well. Now I got to take a uh, section down to three quarters of an inch. That's seven eighths of an inch long, and that'll be a part that actually goes up into the tubing. So. Make some passes.
next thing I can do is just put a little chamfer on all these edges. Then I'll be able to flip it around and do the other side. So I've got to just face it to length. I've got a little dial indicator set up over here with my stop. And I'm just, it's just registered off the face of the jaw on the chuck. I mean, it'll be within a thousandths or two, and that's, like I said, more than enough for something like this. It's just going to get welded in place and painted. sharp from my handle it in the future. Let me put this, this cutter away, I don't need it anymore. Switch over to the chamfering bit. Let's see what I got here. Now I gotta, gotta move my stop. Get that out of the way. Get the, um, the plug in here. Get it nice and tight because when we go to I go to thread this, it's really gonna be difficult. So I don't have great taps, and it's not a small one. It's a half half thirteen. So first thing is gonna be to center drill it. so I don't get stuff all over the place and that's center to it. Kind of a pain in the butt to use a wrench all the time, but
through. That's what it was. Uh, 2764, it's not 2164. Which is the clearance hole for a half 13 tap. And this will probably be just a little loud. off and take care of these two nice chunks of razor wire and then we'll set up and tap it. on here just so it helps cut threads a little better. Put some in there. Chuck and gauge, uh, I should say the tap and gauge. This back so the arm can rest against the, the saddle. Down a little bit. And then that out of the way. And this out of the way. And then do something that's not great for your chuck. In this case I have to, but like I said, this is an old chuck, so I don't really care a whole lot. Take a big wrench, turn the chuck, so it runs the tap in, and then just keep moving the this tap guy in closer. going through the back. Yeah, there we go. It's free enough. Yeah, so back to the tap follower out. Get it out of the Drill truck so I don't ram it in the back of my hand. There's the rest of the way through. Back it out. this up a little bit and I'll take it over to the bench and I'll show you what these look like. So these are what they look like when they're done. Um, these three are already on there. And then there's this one here. It's the last one. So it should just thread on. Nice and doesn't fly on. This one's a little tighter than the other ones. There we go. Oh, there was just some, some crud in there. I had completely got out of the thread, so now it should should spin down there. 
So that's, those are done. So the next thing to do is to actually clean up this tube and then drill the holes that these plugs are going to go in, because that's what these are for. Which ones, are, which ones are the shorter ones? So in these two actually over here. I figured out how far in I'm going to put them yet. What I'm going to do is, on the mill, I'm going to drill a hole down through and these are going to sit down on the, the boss here and then I'll weld them around. attach the base to the stand um, and I just finished tacking them up so I've got tacks on the inside and out of all of these. Um, so what I got to do now is I have to weld all these together and it's going to take quite a while because if I see there's on each joint there's two to four or ten inches of weld on all of them so that's 40 inches of weld and for my little tiny 110 welder it's going to be a real workout. I finished all of the uh, welds for tonight, so the only thing I have to do tomorrow is weld in the plugs. This is one of my better um, second and third pass for a butt weld because this is 3 16th stock and I've only got a 120 amp welder, which really only probably gets up to about 100, 110 amps regularly. So this was actually, this particular joint was a um, three passes. Um, I'll show you another picture here that is um, the root pass. And then I'll show you one of my better, um, I would call it a miter joint, but I think it's called a, a T-joint. T-joints I have a really hard time with. They're kind of ugly, but I mean, they're sound. They're just ugly. I just finished grinding all of the um, butt welds on the base. The top and the bottom essentially it has, each has four butt welds. I ground them flush, so the last thing I need to do welding wise is to weld the threaded plugs in place. So these are in place and as I told you, they are not the prettiest of welds, but they should be sound enough. So I can show you how this is actually gonna work now. So let me zoom this out real quick. So leveling foot. I can just, with that care book, because this thing is still hot, I can feel the heat. You know, I bought extra long ones, and I wanted, I mean, it's, it's not long enough that it'll hit the top of the tube or anything, but I figured, does it really matter if I have an extra two inches? So I can get it to wherever I have that pipe I want, run the nut down, it'd be upside down, of course, and then, Lock it down. All four corners, and I have a nice stout um, machine base. So the only thing I got to do now is paint the seats now up on its base. I just finished leveling it. That took a good two and a half hours. I'm sure to others probably could have done it faster. I'll take some pictures and post post that. Uh, I'll show some pictures of the, the the mounting feet and how those are rigged up and everything as well. But it's done, so now I can actually start using it for real. Mm -hmm.